All right, Needle here. We're looking at Deion Jordan. This is his game versus Stanford. And he will be playing uh, multiple positions, mostly in the outside linebacker spot, but he'll be up on the line as well. Uh, he's protected to be a top five pick. A lot of places believe he'll be going number two to Jacksonville. Uh, so we'll be looking at him, seeing if he is this difference-making pass rusher. And we'll be looking at the first half of his game versus Stanford. So, let's enjoy the ride. He's down here, number 96. Um, I turned the volume down. One of the things that I've noticed with Jordan is he doesn't really use his hands as well as people say he does. I don't really see his ability to separate himself from offensive linemen. Uh, you know, something that is necessary in the NFL, elite pass rushers, they're not always no contact rushers. You know, Julius Peppers, who's been a great rusher, John Abraham, has been a great rusher has attacked that outside leverage, has been able to push guys around. And Deion Jordan doesn't completely show that for me a whole lot. The top of the screen now, come off the edge. Here's his contact rush, and there's his push. That's what he can do, and I'm sure that's what scouts see. They see that, that's what draft Knicks see, they're going, that's incredible. But the problem is, it's not an every down thing. It shows up every once in a while. And what does he do? He loses contain. He's an outside rusher. He has to have contain. It's gone there. That is, to me, a negative play, despite him beating the offensive tackle. You have to do everything right. He reads his own readout right here, and that's just part of the responsibilities. So we just show that. He's lined up on a, on a receiver, two bubble, good play. It's so now down and bottom, rushing off the edge engages but loses leverage again so that's twice now we've seen him lose outside leverage top of the screen that there's his engage rush but there's no move there's no rip there's no swim there's nothing it's just your hands are on me i can't do anything which is a very large negative for me bottom of the screen rushing off edge engage is okay keeps his outside leverage that's a good play this fullback's had a few issues with him in this game quick one step route. We catch this play a little late. So off the top of the edge. And here's his attempt at something. I'm not sure what it was. You know, I just want to go back. I I don't know exactly what the idea is here. Well where's he spinning to? There's no he don't I don't know. You don't spin away. And even if he just spins, you know, I understand the spin inside, but he's in no man's land. He just caught out there and he just beat. I mean, it's just the player, he just got beat. Drops back in the coverage, recognizes a little late, but does get out there. Could be an issue if he has to do it in the NFL. He takes bad angles. He should have his outside shoulder free there for a cutback. He's a contained guy to that side. You know, it doesn't seem to contain very well. There's his outside. Oh, that was not him, was it? I'm looking at the wrong player. At number four. He's in this stance right here, which poor stance. He has a good swim move off the ball, but I mean just taking that ground. Last place you want to be is on the ground. And he has quarterback, he has quarterback, he has nope. He has quarterback, he has quarterback, and he's still run down the line. So uh, assignment football, not his forte. Fortunately for him, he actually makes up for it in this play where he does stay in a quarterback, but quarterback hands it off. So, you know, Jordan, there's talent, but I've heard the comparisons to him and Barcavius Mingo about how one's more short than the other, 
One's a talent guy and one's ready to play in the NFL. I don't see that out of Jordan. Uh, out of a player like Bjorn Warner, I see an NFL ready guy. Deion Jordan, I still see a raw athlete. That's big. He's six foot six, I believe, or six five. He's got long arms. He has potential. No doubt. Very athletic. One thinks you can't coach. But NFL ready? I don't see it quite yet. So, all right, that's the half of football. I got a couple plays in the third. So, um, that was Deion Jordan. Like I said, he's an early round pick, early first round pick. And uh, I'm not that crazy on him. I believe that there are some defensive ends out there that I like better. Uh, personally, I think defensive players in this draft begin and end with Starla Tulele and Sharif Floyd. If you're going to be drafting high, those are two guys you should be drafting high. And Deion Jordan would not be in my top five. So, but anyway, that's Deion Jordan versus Stanford. One game, one half. Next up will be Ezekiel Ansa, the defensive end, defensive tackle from BYU. So, tune into that. Thanks, guys.